Hey you guys. Okay, so I am continuing my Q&A video. This is the second portion. I didn't realize just how many questions there were. I'm trying to answer the majority of them. So let's just get into it, okay? Um, the first one, go check that out if you haven't already and then you can kind of come back here. <laughs> so Harry asked, what other ASMR artists were originally inspirations for your channel? By the way, love your videos. Good question. This is different than my favorites because the originals that inspired me were like Gentle Whispering and, um, oh my gosh, what, what are some of the other, oh, okay, Whispers Red, um, Unicorn, what's her name? ASMR Unicorn, no, Unicorn ASMR can't remember um because this was a while ago oh um exo melissa ox no more videos that she's done in a long time but i loved her she totally inspired me and then asmr rest oh, those are to name a few what okay anna bukazan bukazan what is your favorite book at the moment or a topic that you're interested in? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm not a big reader. Um, I'm really not. Um, if I read, it's usually some a topic I'm really interested in. Not typically. I typically wouldn't sit down and just read a book that's not an informational book. Um, and it's not that I don't like it. It's that it's there are so many things I like more than it so it never would like happen is the thing I did when I was younger anyhow topic that I'm in interested in currently would be <laughs> yeah I've been watching a lot of like skincare videos that's something I've never really watched before like how to take like how to take care of your skin in different ways like honey like I was telling you guys that my best started putting honey on my face um that's been really interesting to me uh, i'm not really like it's just more like it's informative again i kind of want to know more about it that's not a very interesting answer but what else i feel like there's got to be something more interesting than that nope that's, that's what i can come up with right now maybe there is i just can't think of it okay Oya ASMR, my question, will you collab with another ASMR artist someday? I'm trying to with Sarah Rios, um, she said it can be amazing ASMR I guess, love from Indonesia, I love Indonesia, I have been to, I was there for two months on the island of Sulawesi, so yeah, what island are you on? Um, Oya, I want to know, okay. Oh, this is this is someone who okay you comment all the time but I believe your name is in Korean you're the one that has the glasses with the blue thing like lightning coming out of it so I don't know your name tell me your name how do I address you um, or how you want me to address you you said um, oh, you're so nice thank you so much you always are so nice in the comments and like always have my back how's your work situation during the quarantine I know you mainly work from home, but I imagine that there would be less profit during these times. Hope you're holding up all right. Nothing but love. So sweet. Okay, yeah, difficult. Um, all our jobs were cancelled. Um, and so that's been tricky. Um, but thankfully, I still make the ASMR videos, so that's a really ble big blessing to us. Um, yeah, so but yeah, definitely all our jobs were cancelled for this time. So hoping that eventually they will start up again. Thank you for asking. I hope you guys are doing good with that as well. It's difficult. Um, Resin Escape asked, How did you discover the skill of tapping, whispering, scratching? How did you know that you're that, you're that good? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I didn't ever notice that I had a skill of tapping, whispering, or scratching. I think I just started making ASMR videos. I think the only thing that's kind of interesting is because I'm a dancer, I have had a lot of people say they like the rhythm of my tapping. But of 
course that just comes, I don't know, because of dancing or something. I just like built in rhythm or something. And I don't know, those are the things you just kind of start and try and it happens. I think part of it is because I get tingles. So when I see something that gives me tingles, like I know, I know what's going to give me tingles. So that's the best way I can do something to think if this gives me tingles, then it might give someone else tingles. So that's kind of the only answer I would really have to that. I did not know that I would be good at it. I, I'm glad that you think I am. Danielle Elliott. Besides dancing, what other hobbies do you have? What's your favorite video that you've made? Okay. Um, I like to cook. Um, I like to do like anything creative, like making creative things. I love to decorate and design spaces. I love to organize stuff. Um, I have a great eye for design and color in spaces and creating organized spaces. And yeah, if you have a, if someone has a house where they're like, I don't know what to do with this space, it's unorganized and there's shenanigans everywhere, I'm like salivating, like what, uh, let me in. <laughs> um, what's your favorite video that you've made? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. I, I can't think of a favorite at the moment. Oh, okay, I have one. I loved the castle theme that I did in the beginning of my channel, probably within the first six months of having a channel. I did a castle themed video and all the items were like things you might find in a castle. Oh, I also really liked my FBI, female FBI agent theme. Okay, Carly Clark asked, I have been watching your videos for years and I remember at one point you mentioned you and your husband did a lot of artwork. Is this something you still do? Also, if it is, you should create a video painting creating something. Okay, so I did do a video like that. Okay, I have to remember to post it. What can I do to remind myself? Hmm, I'm going to attach this <laughs> to myself to try to remember to put that in the link or in the description box as a link because I did do a video like that um, we do a lot of different kinds of artwork um, our main job I won't really say but that's one and then I've done painting and anything um, I you know, just played some instruments here and there that kind of stuff I guess it's not artwork is it Okay, um, Britt Lee, do you think you will ever be willing to show us your face? I do understand why you don't, by the way. Yeah, again, I answered this in the last video, so um, go check that out. So if anything I've already answered, I'll point you to the first video. Angela H, besides from ASMR, what are your hobbies? Okay, so I just answered. Rachel Cass. Um, why did you make the switch to aggressive triggers? Is that what you prefer to listen to? I will always support you, but I really miss your gentle tapping, gentle fast tapping. I watched your videos from two, three years ago every night. Your new videos, particularly the scratching parts, are way too abrasive for me. Crying face. <laughs> Just curious as to why you switched up your style. That's interesting. Um, t to be honest, I didn't even notice that I switched it up. I see what you mean though. I think that what happens is when you do ASMR, you gradually just kind of change slowly and you don't realize you're changed. It's not on purpose. And I think it has to do with watching other ASMR videos that you like and you kind of like gravitate towards that. So like, I don't know, I've probably seen some fast tapping and scratching lately, so it just got faster. It, it kind of ebbs and flows. But I'll try to remember that and sometimes keep a bit slower for those of you like Rachel. Rebel Y, I love your accent. Could you tell us where it's from? It's from, it's from me attempting 
a British accent. Oh, also, I don't know if you mentioned it before, but can you tell us what it felt like to get your tattoo? Oh, okay. So I'm going to direct people to the other video in terms of my accent. You've got to go watch that one, I guess, to get that answer. Um, and what it felt like to get my tattoo. I also talked about my tattoo in the last one in terms of what it says and what it meant, but I did not get this question. How did it feel? I was so excited to get it that I did not care how it felt. I d didn't even care. You know, it was only an hour and it did not hurt that much. But I think again, because I wanted it so much that again, I just didn't care. Um, if it had been some people's hours and hours and hours, that would start to get miserable and painful and stressful but this was not that long so it was not bad at all and I don't think this is considered a very sensitive spot I think maybe here more I didn't notice a difference okay super Kelly doll oh yes hello I've talked to you before I love that oh look at me I'm doing this but it's not on the actual pad okay um when how did you get saved and find Jesus what is your favorite book of the bible okay also going to direct you to my other video because i answered it actually someone asked you know that was actually related to the tattoo um question so it's at the end of the last video go check that out if you want to know that um and what is your favorite book of the bible Ooh, la, 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 la. um man that's a hard question Oh, that's a hard one. I just I have to name a bunch. Romans, Hebrews, Ephesians. Whew. Oh my gosh. Okay. Those would be, if I was like going to... There any others that, that I would say? Oh, my heart. I can't, I can't. That's, those are the best, the, I mean, those are the best answers that I can give. Um, this is some of my favorites. Would you ever want to move out into your own home with no roommates? Your channel is amazing. Praying for you always good is good. That's sweet. Thank you. You're praying for me? That's so nice of you. Are you serious? That's so nice of you. Okay, would you ever want to move out into your own home? Um, I love living in community, but I kind of can live wherever. I don't mind. I could do either. No problem. I like it both. Because I'm introverted, I can kind of do both. Oh, look at that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Saw someone else's comment to their comment. Okay, next one. Amandin Shortburg. What is your name? Just so we can address you. You can just call me Villa. Um, okay. Shalina Bufford. What's the best holiday travel destination you've visited and why? Thank you. Oh, I like that question. Singapore. It was not a holiday though. It was because when I lived in India, I had to leave here and there because of visa things. You can only be there for a certain period of time. And I got to go to Singapore. And the reason I loved it is because it was a major blend of the East and West where I could feel like I was in Asia, but I could also eat pizza and rent a movie if I wanted to. Also, I felt like I was in Asia. Well, I was. <laughs> it's like you feel like it still, even though those Western things exist. That's the best way to put it. Um, but like, also, English is spoken in Singapore, so it made it a lot easier to get around, but I was still like in Asia. It was great. It's also really clean in Singapore and beautiful. I loved it. Okay. But wait, <laughs> I think I have another answer to, oh, I love everywhere. Morocco, I loved Morocco. If you can ever go to the city of Fez and go through some of the corridors there um, that are just filled with trinkets and archways and colors and gold like lamps and it's just awesome awesome and marrakesh has that too in morocco but fez is more like it's less um touristy it's like 
yeah, because Marrakesh is more touristy. Um, also, Egypt has some really cool um, marketplaces. Oh my gosh, Turkey. Turkey has one of, okay, I can't even, it has one of the most amazing marketplace kind of situations. I don't even know how to explain this to you. It's like you're going through a maze and you're like keep turning corners and going downstairs and upstairs and you're finding these little stores and they have like treasures and different things everywhere. I was like in like a miracle maze in Turkey for, and I was by myself like probably for hours just going through this beautiful colorful maze <laughs> of shops and foods and you know fish markets and oh you name it it was I was like epic loved it okay I can't I got I've got to stop <laughs> there's so many places Whew. I got like I got excited I need to take a breath <sighs> okay next KJ what's your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to and make videos of Oh, uh, anything with long nails, tapping or scratching. Yeah, anything fast, tapping, scratching, with long nails in particular. Yeah. Okay, next is, oh, it's, li oh, it's Izzy. When did you discover your love for ASMR? Oh, right away. I watched the first video accidentally. It was a hairbrushing video. And I was so relaxed by it, I didn't even know it was ASMR. I couldn't stop watching it, and then from there I found out what ASMR was and watched every bit of it. So it's like an immediate response because I got tingles completely. And I'd had them before watching other things or this and that in life. But then it happened and it was like in video form and I could click it. It was like, this is amazing. And then I think my love for it developed as I started making videos because I really like making videos. I love the sounds. I love it. It's such a weird thing to love. I completely, I love it. The next name I'm going to try, visit to you, Madalena. What's your favorite memory with your dad? Oh my gosh, when I read this, I read through before, like, this is the sweetest question. And I thought about it. My favorite memory with my dad is playing Monopoly when I was a little girl with my family in an air-conditioned room where the rest of the house was just boiling hot. We would turn the AC on in just one room and because then we could we could like pay for that room to be cold we could all just be in there and we would play monopoly and um i remember like putting stickers all over my dad and putting like tons of barrettes in his hair and then we went to get ice cream and he wore the stickers and the barrettes to the ice cream place and he walked up to the counter and just ordered without acknowledging any of what was going on, nothing, completely serious, and I was like cry laughing on the side watching this happen. That's, that's one of my favorites. There's, there's a lot, but that's one of them. Okay, do you have another job besides doing ASMR? Yes, I do. And there have been times when I've had two others, um, currently just one other. Um, my husband and I are artists, we do a kind of art for our living. And I have done like watching little ones as well um, and sometimes and then obviously ASMR and I've done all three of those at times and a lot of times all three actually more so than just two at one time but right now it's just two so I can put more videos out um, where are you from I love your accent okay I'm gonna direct you to the first video because I answered that and that was um, Lito X Jenny 11. Oh, and Carly Clark asked the question about jobs. Next question, Domi Boy Smith. What is your personal favorite triggers? Also, who's your favorite channel right now? Okay, directing you to my other video as well. Okay, same with the next one. So, Jules R, any pets, cat, dog? 
No, I guess that I didn't answer that before. I don't have one, but I have in the past. Had dogs. Sunshine Triple X asks about face reveal. Other video. Can you do another mic touching video or make another back scratching one? Um, I can do probably back scratching. I'm not sure when I will have my mic though, so I can't quite answer that. Hayley Hartzell, what made you decide to do ASMR? Sorry for those that um, are watching this first, because that's probably confusing, but I would just go watch the first one so you don't have to deal with my fingers doing this each time. But I asked, answered that already in the first video. I am Mile, I am Mayo. How did you come up with your channel name? Same. Danielle Murray, what are your hobbies besides work and dancing? I think I answered that in this video. Wendy Marie, where do you get your ideas for videos and how do you pick the items? Mm. Um, I think I just like, I don't know, they pop into my head, I guess. Um, sometimes it's it's based on an item, so if I like really want to tap on a certain item, because I know it makes a great sound, I'll create a theme around it. Um, I'd say that's generally, or like it might be a nail color that I really like, or the color of my nails at the time. So recently I did the color purple, like my nails were kind of a purple color, and I thought, oh, okay, I get to do purple now. So one thing inspires, and then I go. Yeah, and I pick the items based on the theme usually, um, and then obviously based on the sounds. I want to make sure they make really good sounds. And the next question is by Tacos. Can you tell us what your favorite food is besides your lemon salad, lol? The fact that you know that, it, right here, right here, you know that I love something called lemon salad. You might not see my face, but you know my heart. Okay, um, I love Mexican food uh, a lot. Probably my favorite is Mexican food. I love pastas though, and I love Middle Eastern food. But I'd go with anything Mexican food, burritos, tacos. Oh, that's funny, your name is tacos. It's happening. Okay, Blair. How is community living in quarantine? I did answer that in the last one. So say, can you imagine doing cooking videos but ASMR style? You know, I did do some cooking videos in the beginning, so you could check those out if you look up ASMR Villa cooking, but they're not like those amazing ones where it's like sizzle and stir, you know. I'd like to, I think you need a lot of lighting and the right it's a lot of work, I think. It'd be a lot more intricate and having the right tools. I mean, I could try a simple one, but I think there's something about having the right audio at the right place with the right sound and the lighting. It's a bit more cinematic. Um, it works better if it's cinematic, in my opinion. It's Jet. How old are you? Um, I didn't answer this um, in the last one. Someone asked, but I, I didn't answer. But I did say you could guess. <laughs> Karina H. Can you do more videos for kids? Reading toddler books. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Madat. Madat Bud, I have just wrote to you on Patreon. Thank you for joining me on there. So generous of you. Um, okay, it says, what kind of dancing do you do and does your husband dance also? Okay, I do jazz, lyrical, like contemporary, um, hip-hop, I love salsa, um, tap, I, I can, I do ballet, but it's not my, like, thing, um, but ballet is the basis for jazz, lyrical, contemporary, so you have to be, you have to know that as a foundation. Um, which time zone are you in? Not gonna tell you that one. Okay, um, Sika, or Sika, 1000. What do you do for sport activities? only dance. <laughs> I walk. I go on walks. That's not a sport. I just love to dance. I've literally never played on a sports team in my life. However, I grew up with a lot of boys 
in my extended family and so I grew up playing a lot of tennis and I'm actually really good at tennis um, and I grew up um, playing a lot of basketball I'm not great at it but I grew up playing a lot of it um, and like just what else my family just like a lot of people played sports so I kind of like did it but I didn't really enjoy it I would literally if I hit the ball in tennis I'd hit it and I do spin and the ball come back I'd hit it and I do spin so it was just with me that really I was just dancing and in between kind of playing tennis so yeah. okay um Raina can you do a face reveal I answered that before but yeah I'm not sure Sarah Smith how did you meet your husband I met him at church um, in like a young adults group um, yeah that's where we met um, that's pretty much the basics we met in kind of different places with that group but Emily Williams tattoo explanation that is in detail at the end of the first video Anna Busezon what is your zodiac sign I answered that in the last one but it's fast I think I'm cancer my birthday's in July um, how old are you and what nationality are you? Nationality is answered in other one and I didn't answer my age yet. Okay, Rachel Tierney. Hi, Villa. Um, you and your channel mean a lot to me. You have given me hours and hours of relaxation, so I want to thank you so much for the effort you put into your work. That's really sweet. I appreciate it. I'm so glad it's blessed you in some way. As for my question, I am wondering if you have been affected by the strict YouTube monetization rules. Oh, that's right. Okay, I won't go through the whole question because it's quite long, um, but I appreciated it and I did already read it. Um, there have been certain videos of mine that have been demonetized. Um, not a lot, but like, this is so silly, candle scratching. I won't say more, but, and I've appealed it, um, but they haven't said yes, so um, I feel bad for the channels where it's like a lot is demonetized for certain things like you mentioned, but uh, you know, thankfully not too many, but yeah, some of my biggest videos have for some reason because the candle scratching people like that, so. Um, but thank you for caring about that, that's sweet, yeah, so you are asking what's my opinion of it. Um, yeah, I, I think it's frustrating because you're saying that um, they're getting demonetized because they think it's sexual. So me scratching on a candle, obviously you get what they might be insinuating. It's not like that, which is why you're saying it's frustrating. Yes, it is frustrating when it's not sexual and it's frustrating when people think it's sexual. I get really upset by that too. Um, I have family members like that are like, oh well, it's a sexual thing. <laughs> like, it's not a sexual thing. It's really frustrating. Um, so I guess it's frustrating to me is the best answer. I hope at some point they can distinguish that and not demonetize those videos. Julia S, I'm gonna direct you. You said, how old are you? What is your name? The other video. Hannah's anime just said, why? Yeah, why? I don't know what you mean. That's our only thing. Um, and the last question is by Emma Paget, I think. Hi, what genre of music do you mainly listen to and are you religious? I'm new, so I apologize if either of these have been mentioned before. Okay, I did. I did answer these in the last one. So I'm going to direct you there, Emma. Um, I did answer both of those. I think I may have answered the music one in this one and the am I religious in the other one. <laughs> um, there's a question in a language I don't understand by Priscilla C. I'm so sorry. I can answer, I, I get like the first part is like why you and then I don't understand the rest. And the very last one, how can I not mention it? It says just O oh, <laughs> as the question. Roos Margin Terhorst. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching, um, I'm, I'm glad you were able to, if you got to this point and watched all of them, and you watched the first and second, okay, write in the comments, um, uh, before, uh, before, 
I will know you watched all the way both videos. <laughs> but some of you could cheat and do that if you only watch this one. That's fine. You can cheat, you know, but um but if you really want to tell me <laughs> only if you did. Tell me that only if you watched both. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for caring. Um I've had fun with you guys tonight. I've been filming for like almost two hours. <laughs> okay, bye for now.